Okay, we are starting. We're just diving right in. Um, so hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am actually doing a video today on just some random bits and pieces of things that I have thrifted. Um, I found at a flea market and yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. So Josh and I went away for our anniversary last weekend. We headed out toward New Jersey area and really, really nice area. Um, so we go to this little area where we can walk around, do a lot of shopping on Saturday and Sundays. There are, there is a flea market that we go to. We actually went there last year as well and we just have a lot of fun. We really enjoy the time together. My mom watches the kids for us. So it's really, really nice. Um, but I was debating whether or not to do this video because I got some things that weekend and I just didn't feel like it. I was feeling lazy to be honest with you. And then, um, then I think I got some recent things, some other things recently, that's what I'm trying to say. And I'm like, you know, I'm just going to do one big video, one big haul of stuff. And, um, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of dive in and just start showing you guys. So basically, where do I start? Okay. I think I'm going to start because I have, if I go in chronological order of how I got the items, it's easy. Ooh, here. I just blow dry my hair, but it's still kind of crazy. Um, but... If I go in chronological order when I got the items, I think I'll remember everything, hopefully. Because I have stuff all scattered here. Okay. So, the weekend that we went to the flea market, I got some really fun jewelry. I'm really getting into uh, vintage jewelry. I mean, I've kind of been into vintage jewelry. As you can see, I have, like, the big plastic beads and stuff up there. I just love them. I don't always wear them. But, like, I have the stuff, but I don't wear it very often. Anyway. So, this one guy had this table tons and tons of jewelry and each of the items were was two dollars each so the first item actually I don't know if it's the first item but I picked up this item this really cool necklace let me put my hand behind it if I can somehow and I just love the way the the necklace catches the the light with the facets and also the little clear beads themselves and what I liked about it too so I'm trying to make sure I'm looking at the camera I'm not sure where it is um is that there's there's wire in it like it's not some old thread that's gonna get frayed and stuff. Like it's solid and it has this really cool silver clasp. Oh my god, I'm sure I'll do it this way. I show you. And you can't really see it, but on the teeny tiny little circle up here, hard to see. There is actually markings, and it actually says I think it's buyer or beer or it's actually silver. And it's it. I did some research on it, and I think it might be like everything that came up was like to Jewish or Jewish silver. I'm not sure exactly what that is or like, like who the, if that's what the maker is or it was just bringing up something else in my search. But so this little clasp is actually, it's actually silver. Now I was looking at it today and I thought that it might glow because if you look real close, even this in the light here, it's kind of yellowish. It looks almost hazy. At first I thought it was really dirty. So I have my little UV light. I tried to test earlier and I couldn't really tell. You tell me. I don't... Does it glow? Not really. No, unfortunately. I thought maybe maybe my lighting was poor. Does it really look good? Oh, sorry. It's not focusing. Get closer, Holly. Not really. Okay. I was thinking maybe it would, but unfortunately it does not. That's okay. So got this. Actually, while we're here, actually I can't reach from here. I'll put it back later. And then I got this really cool bracelet. It's a square. And it actually has little gems that go all the way around the edge, which is really fun. I love this. And I'm really glad I got this because Josh and I had been to a huge, huge antique store the day before, and there was this black bracelet like this, and they wanted twenty dollars for it. It wasn't a square; it was just circular. But they went $20 for it. And I'm like, well, maybe I'll go back and get it. We'll see, you know. But this was $2, so didn't even have to think about that one. All right, hold on. Water. Okay, whew. I gotta slow down. I dove in. I can feel my speed going faster and faster and faster. So I want to enjoy this experience, and I don't want to be rushing through it. All right. But, ah, all right, I'm losing the bracelet. <laughs> it's not working. I have a bowl down here I want to show you in a minute, but not yet. So the next item I got from that guy's table is this insane, crazy necklace. 
So as soon as I saw it, actually, you know what? This might be the first thing I picked up, not the other necklace. I just love how it's made. And there's so many colors on it. And it's got some weight to it, but it's not too bad. But it looks kind of fun. Hold on. Kind of cool like that. Anyway. But uh, even it's made out of like, so it's all beaded by, I'm trying to think. I don't know what you call it. Some kind of little string. And it's got this fun little. Part of me think it's homemade. But I don't know. But it was just so much fun. I had to have it. I just, it's so gaudy. It's great. <laughs> anyway. So the next item I got is this federal bowl with an advertisement on it with a car. It says, I will read it to you, how fortunate there is an MHT any car loan. But I've never seen one with a car on it. And I've seen these bowls before with advertisements on them. Like you can find them all day long on eBay. I think a lot of insurance companies use them. Um, I'm trying to think what other ones I've seen. But anyway, I actually, Josh and I were leaving and I was hemming and hawing about whether or not I should get this. And I decided, we were like walking to the car, like, nope, nope, I gotta go back, I wanna go get it. So I did. This was uh, $40, which I didn't think was too bad. I think it's about average. I think it's about average. Um, but really cool. Um, I'm trying to think which direction I wanna go. This is random. I'm just gonna quick show you this only because I like Alice in Wonderland stuff. This is why I got it. It's just, it says Crazy Alice, and it's actually a cigar box. So, oops, let's see if I can get this open. <clears throat> okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, it's just, that's a fun picture inside. Oops. Hold on to me. Empty box, Crazy Alice. And the reason I got it is there is a store that we always, little shop that we always go to, and, um, this little cigar shop that Josh always wants to go to. And we went in, and I'm looking through, and there's, this box is sitting on the shelf completely empty and I know that I have been in other cigar shops before where they'll have like a big old bin full of empty cigar boxes and they'll sell them for like a dollar three dollars whatever so I figured they would sell this to me so I asked the guy at the counter I'm like would it be since, since this is empty would you sell it to me and he looked at it and said yeah I'll give me for three dollars yeah sure <laughs> cool so I got this for three dollars um but yeah, I just, I like to said Crazy Alice, so I have it with my Alice in Wonderland collection, which I have not yet done a video on, and I want to do, I will do eventually. The mood hasn't hit me. The mood has to hit me. If it doesn't hit me, it's not happening. Okay, let's see. That was the flea market. That was that. Oh, and another thing I want to show you. Where is it? Okay, so we're walking back to our room. We're staying at like a bed and breakfast inn type place, and we were going up this little side street. And it's hard to explain. We have to go up the street, went up, but there's like a lower section that is parallel to the street, but they're like little homes and businesses. So you have to kind of go, the street is like this, you kind of go down like this, and you go up these steps to go back up to the street, up to the sidewalk. And so we were kind of going down, and there's this cement wall that's along the street. With like You could sit on it if you wanted to. And there's all this stuff just sitting on it. And the sign that said free. And there was a bunch of odds and ends, nothing that really caught my eye. But the one thing that did catch my eye and I did grab was this really cool Bluebirds of Love. I think that's what it's called. Bluebirds of Love. Is that what it's called? The only thing is, and the reason I think it was free and they didn't keep it, is unfortunately it has seen a bit of damage. And it's signed on the bottom, which is really cool. It has no value now because it's it's been broken. Like you can see, let's see if I can show you. It was completely detached, apparently, at one point in time. But I don't care. It was free, and it's beautiful. And I actually have it up in my kitchen. The top shelf in my kitchen, I have, like, um, blue and green items. So I've got, um, oh, I forget that glass is called. It's like it's Italian glass bowls. So I've got a couple of those. I've got Pyrex. I've got, um, like, a turquoise enamel pot. Anyway, a lot of blues and greens. So this works perfectly up there. So I set this up in the top shelf. I just love it. And how perfect is it that I found this on the weekend that Josh and I were away on our anniversary? And let me be a little schmaltzy and cheesy here, but you know, any broken heart can be fixed and be good as new. It might have some damage and it might have some issues, but you know, things can be good again. So there's always hope. 
Okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, I think I didn't do a whole lot of shopping on our weekend, but on the way home, we actually hit two to three uh, thrift shops, I think. We actually passed them on the way in, and I told Josh, on the way home, I'd love to stop and, and shop at those, because I'd seen them once before. I forget what they're called. I forget the name of them. Anyway, so I have a few things from those shops. I'm not sure where everything is. I think I have some things behind me. I just have things scattered. I was going to sit over here and face here, but I want the light, the ring light, just because it gets so dark in here and I'm trying to be better at having better lighting in my videos. It's, it's a challenge. It's really hard. It's surprising how hard it is to get the good angles, the good lighting, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm trying to do better. Anywho. All right. So the one thrift shop we went to, um, oh, the one thing I can't show you because it's over there, but if you want to see it, I did a video earlier today. I'm probably going to post this tomorrow, Saturday. Today's July the 8th. It's a Friday or 7th. I'm not sure. But um, I did a video this morning. I was repotting some of my houseplants. So I did a video on that just because I felt like it. It's probably not going to get a ton of views, but it was fun for me anyway. But the one item I got was a little, as a planter that I use for my one succulent. So I have that over there, but I'm not going to bring it over now. It's just, it's a cool little pot. It's like greenish with like whitish pink flowers. So if you really are dying to see that, watch the video I posted this morning of me repotting my plants and you'll see it. Anywho, but I got that. And then the rest of the items that I got at the place were, actually there's three different places. I think the second or third place, um, I got a bunch of stuff. So I got this cute bowl, little rice bowl. Of course, you know me, I cannot pass up a nice little rice bowl. I believe this is only a dollar. Um, so this particular shop, I walked away with like four or five items. Memory serves. So that was kind of cool. And then I got this plate. So pretty. Oh, I love it. Look at the look at the flowers. Look at the colors. That is so pretty. And that's a Wedgwood plate. I paid five dollars. The price is still on there. That's a nice Wedgwood plate. It's got the Wedgwood. Um, Made in England, Wedgwood, Patrician, USA, patent, whatever, you don't need a patent. You want the patent number? It's 74009. There you go. Just in case you were just dying to know. But anyway, I just thought that was pretty. So I had that with my other, like, plate collection. Right, I'm going to put my pile of stuff I've shown you over here. And then I also got the same shop. I got some more glass. Hold on. I'll put this in here. All right, and then I found Pyrex. I found this turquoise, oh, what's the number again? I should remember, have this memorized, the 024 two quart. Um, but yeah, I saw this and it had some dirt on the bottom and I knew I could clean it off, but I wasn't sure how good. Ooh, there's a little teeny tiny spider in there. Anyway, um, so this part is real shiny as you can see, look at the paint, it's awesome. And then look, you can see, I don't know if you can see, Look how the, there's like this line. I don't know if they sat this bowl in acid or what, because you can see the shine. You can see my ring light reflection. And then it just kind of disappears. So there's no shine on the bottom whatsoever. Uh, unfortunately. But it's nice. I mean, it's still usable. I only paid $4 for it. But I'm like, the rest of it's perfect. I mean, it's got a little baked on stuff. But look at the shine. <laughs> I'm really, and there's nothing you can do about that. Nothing you can do about that. Um, Back when I first started collecting Pyrex, some people would be like, oh, you can put, if you want it to look a little bit shiny for display purposes, you can put oil on it, but don't put it in the oven if there's oil on it, because it'll, I don't know what it does, but it's really bad. Anywho, but yeah, so I got that $4, so the next item I got, and I have no idea what it is, you can tell me what it is if you know what it is, because I don't know, but I don't care because it's cool, is this little, it's kind of like a plate, kind of like a trivet. It was three dollars and I just there's something about it I just love it. I just thought it was really pretty. The flowers are really nice. And I am just a sucker. I'm I'm realizing that I'm a sucker for this these patterns that they have in the actual porcelain or the ceramic, whatever you call this. These other plate hold on, let me show you. Has it too. Is it called relief? I guess that's what it's called. Like look at that. I just that is and then you have the pic colored picture on top of it. A little mushroom. That's kind of fun. Um, but yeah, I just... So it might be a, a really nice um, for like a plant. Um, I'm guessing you could put like a hot dish on it. But it's got like painted flowers. So I don't know if that hurt the painted flowers. I don't know. Anyway, 
Love it. Cool. And okay. Oh, and then the other place I went, the one thing I can't show you because it's, I mean, I can, but it was just a Pyrex lid, but there was um, three of those oval Pyrex lids. They're clear. They go to the 043, the one and a half quart um, Pyrex casserole. And I have a casserole with, with the lid, but the lid was really scratched up and they had some there for like a dollar each or less than a dollar. Um, there were three lids. I only bought the two because one had a really bad chip. The two that I bought, the one was perfect and the one had a tiny chip. And I don't know where the other lid is. I can't find it anywhere, but I have it. But I put the perfect lid on top of my my casserole dish. And my casserole dish now has a nice lid. So I got that at the one place we got. And then I got a pair of jeans. Um, nothing too exciting, just jeans. But I think the reason I got these is because they're a really good brand. They're American Eagle. And they're like, they're stretchy. They're so comfortable. And they don't ride too high. Like, I'm not... I don't mind the high-rise jeans that much. The look is cute if you've got a teeny tiny waist, which I don't. Um, but also, I don't like things pushing down on my stomach. Like, I don't know if it's like because I'm getting older or just because it's me. But I don't like things pressing against me, especially if I'm sitting down or eating. So I'm really, I'm really stuck on the jeans from the '90s and the early 2000s. Like, I like the low-rise or the mid-rise. They're way more comfortable for me. Plus, I have a short torso, so for me, it always I always feel like it made my torso look longer because you know your pants wear a little lower and you wear low, you wear a longer shirt. So it just I feel like I look more elongated. <laughs> so that's kind of why I grabbed these because harder and harder to find those pants. I go on eBay sometimes and just buy the old the old vintage jeans. Are vintage now the old jeans. Anyway, moving on, I also got this cute little wooden uh, four leg stool. I think it's oak. If it's not oak, it's definitely a hardwood. But it reminds me of one of those milking stools if you're milking the cow in the morning, you know. This thing's he it's heavy. It's got some weight to it. And I think it only paid like $7.50. I don't remember what the jeans were. I don't... I think I took the price tag off. I have no idea what the jeans were. I have no clue. Um, but they if they weren't a good deal. I wouldn't have got them. Well, no. If I really love a good pair of jeans, I'll pay a little extra for them. But, you know, to me, 20 30 bucks is a lot for jeans. I'm stuck in the 90s, price-wise and style-wise. So it's got a little bit of wear, but I love this. I haven't used it yet for anything. I have no idea what to do with it, but I just loved it. I love the, it looked old. It's got the old feel and the, sorry, I'm turning the glare off. And I love the wood grain. I just love seeing the wood. It's just, it's hefty. It was just fun. It was just cute. So snag that. And then I think that's it for the weekend that Josh and I were away. And then I got some things I've gotten recently in the past week. I don't really remember in what order I got these. These don't matter as much because my pile's smaller and it's just over here. Okay, just making sure there's nothing behind me. Okay, so the one day I went out. Oh, the one thing I don't have with. Oh, yeah, I do. I do. So the one thing I got was this really cute planter. I think I only paid $2. Yeah, oh, no, $3. It's $3.99. But I like it because it actually has a drainage hole. It is so hard now to find pots with drainage holes like the plants need to drain the water the water cannot sit in there why are people designing pots with no holes in them I just, ugh. at least with some of the plastic ones they will at least have it where you can pop they'll have it like like little circles in the bottom you can pop them out but i'll find a lot of planters with no no drainage holes so anyway had to snag that love it um actually i got another one too different place or yeah it's a different goodwill i got it for two dollars again it's nice. It's got three drainage holes, so hallelujah. Actually, it says made in Germany. I didn't realize that. Not. That's pretty decent. So, very happy with that. It's beautiful. I have a lot of plants that are getting to the point where. A lot of plants. Oh my gosh. Let's exaggerate that. I have one plant <laughs> um, that has. Usually gets a lot of little um, shoots on the bottom. And I'm always looking for pots to put the little shoots in. And I'll give them away, sell them, whatever. So that was cool. And then I got something I actually needed. It was this really cool bracelet thingy. Let's all spin how it's like that. Which is funny because it's actually something I needed and I was looking for and actually went to Goodwill. Oh, oh, I just realized it spins. Okay, that's cool. Look at that. It's got like a little. Okay, that's fun. I didn't even know I did that. But a lot of, there are times where I'm like, oh, I really need such and such. And I'll just go to the thrift store and see if they have it. And more, more, more often than not, they don't. But this time around, I'm like, I really need something to hold my bracelets. Because I bought, I don't know if you can see it, this 
back here. It's like a black velvet thing that holds bracelets. I got it at Joanne Fabrics, like seven or eight dollars, like last week. And I have big chunky bracelets, and it holds like six of them, maybe. <laughs> I have a lot more bracelets, and I'm like, that's not that's not gonna suffice. So I got this for five dollars, and it actually works. I I love the look of it. I love the little little like glass knobs in the end or plastic, whatever they are. But it kind of matches. You can't see it because it's kind of far away, but what's holding on my, my necklaces, right up there, there are also like little plastic knobs that look like, like decorative, but they're cool. So it kind of matches these a little bit. So it's going to look really nice up here. Like stick it up there. I have all my bracelets. I might get rid of the black velvet one if I don't need it. Maybe I'll see if my mom or someone else wants it if they're interested or maybe I'll just hold on to it because who knows, I might have more bracelets in my future. So I thought that was really cool. And for five dollars, I got for less than the than this from Joanne Fabrics. Okay, and then I got this really cool purse. It's actually leather. And I love the color. It's this deep pink. I love the pink and the white. And the brand is Gianni Bernini. Am I saying that right? I think so. G I A N I B E R. And I and I. So anyway, but it's right there. Again, it's backwards because how I have my phone, so I apologize. Sorry for my nails. I did like one coat on my finger. You can see that the dark color. I needed to like, do like two more coats on that, but I'll get to it. But I just love I love the color and I love that it's leather. Like I'm staying there in goodwill. Like is it leather? I'm, like sniffing the purse of like a fiend. But anyway. The inside's kind of nice. It is a little, it looks a little stained somewhere in here. In here. So it looks like something might have spilled in there at one point in time. But that's okay. And this one was $6.99. So $7 for a leather purse. I just, it's really cool. I love it so much. So snag that. And then, oh, these, I didn't unwrap these. Oh, I forgot about this. And then this. Oh, I love this. I've been looking for a cool little wood shelf for our kitchen. I wanted to paint it white, so I found this. I don't know if I can get all in one. Oh, there we go. I can get it all in. <laughs> That's really dusty. Look at that. I didn't even clean it yet. It's so gross. I should have cleaned it. But um, I know. Let's do it this. Um, hey, that'd be a good thumbnail. Maybe we'll do that. But um, I know what wall I want to put this on in my kitchen. But now that I have it, I think the wall that I want to put it on isn't wide enough. It might not work there, but I'm going to keep it. I love it a lot. I don't know what I'm going to put on it. Maybe like some plates or mugs or something. I don't know. But I just thought it was really cool. And, um, but yeah. Kind of fun. Oh, and this one, sorry. Price, price, price helps. Uh, there's no price. Did the lady take the price off? There was a price on it. I think it was $3. I think that's what it was. Okay. Moving right along. Oh, I'm getting a headache. Well, you ever get one of those headaches where it's just like, it's like a pinpoint. It's like right here and it just starts throbbing. I had one the other week. It was like over here. I don't know if it's weather change or what. Like we had a lot of um, thunderstorms and stuff today. It's been hot. It's been humid. And we keep our house at like 68, 69. So probably being in and out of the cold house and then like going outside, my body's like in shock. Anyway, so I got two more things to show you. I have this. Let me just here. Because I can't get enough planners, I got another one. And yes, it has drainage holes. But it's cute because it reminded me of a little bathtub. It's only 99 cents. But I just thought that was really cute. You know, I, I feel like this would look really cute with some succulents. I kind of want to get succulents now put in here. But I thought that was sweet. And... Oh, and I found some more Pyrex. That should be my part of my title. Found loads of Pyrex. Not really. You gotta be so creative with your titles. Like I don't want to be one of those clickbait people. But I was watching another YouTuber a while back, and she's like, she's like, I know people are having issues with, or have made comments about her channel and them being like slightly clickbaity. And but she's like, I don't get the views otherwise. I'm trying. She's like, so if I make it sound a little bit more not lying but a little bit more edgy than like because she showed she had she had a screenshot of like her one video with just a really basic statement was was her title and then um and the other one was like a little bit more clickbaity or a little bit more 
I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing the word I want. But anyway, and she shared the views and the quick, she had were way higher on the clickbait one, which we all know that's how it happens. You know, we, we know how that works, but I just, I don't like two. Well, anyway, I, I made my point. I'll keep moving, moving on. But anyway, ta-da, got this for a mere $3.99. It's kind of funny because I found the bigger one a while back at a flea market for $2 and it has this lid. So for a total of $6, I've got these two nice big casseroles. Now it does have, like here you can see, some baked on stuff, but that should come off. I gotta be really careful though because of course it's on the gold flour. And if you've ever tried to clean any vintage dish with gold paint on it, you know that gold paint wants to come right off. All you have to do is put tape on it and take the tape off and you've got like the, the gold pattern. Anyway, it's annoying. So I have to be very careful. But like it was, I love seeing it being used. Like look at all the brown cooked on stuff. But I have some barkeeper's friends, so that should come right off. Like I'm not worried about that. Um, but yeah. So yeah, it's Schneig that. Very, very happy with that. So I I can't say no to Pyrex if it's a really good deal. Like I, I have a few pieces right now that I just, because they were a good deal. I don't always do that, but then sometimes later on I'll just try and resell them or something or or use them myself. I just, I'm getting better at not just buying random pieces of Pyrex just because I'm seeing them. Sorry, my hair's bugging me. Um, but I don't know. It's, sometimes I just have to snag it. I'm getting, like I said, I'm getting better. My local thrift store put on their Facebook page today all this Pyrex that someone had donated. It was all common pieces, like nothing that I wanted. So I think they actually have some Amish butter print, which is still really popular with people. Um, but I'm like, you know, I'll leave it there for somebody else. I don't need it. I don't, I'll do a little bit of selling here and there, like, but I don't do it like as a job or as a hobby. Like I'll just do it because I have too much stuff. Like that's kind of how I do that. But anyway, I'm this over here. Or I think that's everything. I think so. I hope I didn't miss anything. Oh. There is one more thing. I will close up the video with the one more thing that I have. I actually got a really cute <laughs> hair. I got a really cute gossip bench I could will the other day. It was $6.99. And I had to do some research on it because um, I wasn't sure time period. But I think it's from the 1970s. Um, actually, I'll just do a picture in here. I'll take a picture of it and I'll put it in. It'll be easier because that way I can do the outro here and just easier. Because you, you don't need video on that. I'll just show a picture on it but it's from the 1970s uh this is what my research has shown so this is what i got off of the internet i think it's from the 1970s it's maple wood and i'm really glad that i got it and when i originally found it um it was really wobbly the legs were real loose and i'm like oh i can paint this up i'll make a make maybe i'll make a fun video out of it and but once i got it home i just like i wanted to tighten the legs and see if i could fix that and all it needed, like, each leg just needed, like, the, the nut in the corner to be, like, tightened up. Solid as a rock. And I put it in the corner of my kitchen. And it just looks so great there. I just love it. I'm, I'm not painting it. I'm not touching it. It is beautiful. I'm going to love it. I'm going to enjoy it just where it is and as it is. At least for now. That could change. Um, but for the moment, I'm just going to love it the way it is. So, anyway. All right, guys. It is now... Ooh, is that 522? It is Friday night and I have to order our dinner here real soon so we can have our movie night and everything. My stomach is growling. I'm so hungry. Um, I'm going to try and get this posted tomorrow. I thought about doing it tonight, but our internet is so bad right now. It takes two to three hours to upload a video. No joke. And Josh has been trying to get boosters for our internet and we were fine up until the summer and he swears, well I should say he swears, but he says it's because where we live is kind of a hilly area. And all the trees got the leaves and stuff and he thinks it's because of that like we don't we have perfectly fine internet like it used to take me only like half an hour to upload a video and now it takes forever i'm like then my my phone slows down i try like i do everything on my phone uh nothing high quality high end here <laughs> um i do have a nice phone though i should say that but anyway so i think i'll do that tomorrow because i already did a video today so i'm not gonna do two videos in one day so i'll try and post this tomorrow or sunday so I'm um, going to sp space it out a little bit. But anyway, hope you all have a good weekend. Um, I don't know if I have any other anything else to say. But anyway, have a good weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to everyone who subscribes and who comments. It means so much to me. It helps my channel to grow, which is what I want. Thank you so much. Have a good weekend. Have a good week. And try and stay cool this summer because it's disgusting out there. So anyway, 
Talk to you guys later. See you later. Thanks for watching. I think I covered everything. Yes. All right. <laughs> Bye.